Welcome once again to this is form two, form two, magnetic effect of electric current. This is form two, magnetic effect of electric current. That is the topic. But what we are going to look at today is a device known as moving coil loudspeaker. Moving coil loudspeaker. From that title, you can see that there is a coil that moves. There is a coil that moves. So we want today to explore on how the moving coil loudspeaker functions. Now, the knowledge we require is current carrying conductor. A current carrying conductor, when it is placed in magnetic field, sorry, when it is placed in magnetic field, it will experience a force when current flows in it. That's why we are saying current flowing in a conductor experiences a force. But not just anywhere when that conductor is in magnetic field. So magnetic field basically you should be getting now closer and closer to some facts that I can only talk of magnetic field if I have a magnet. All magnets have got north and south pole. So when I talk of magnetic field, the first thing you expect to see is a magnet. Then for you to know the direction, you must have polarity. You must have north and south. So that is what we are going to look at. Is I have not drawn a complete figure because I want to take you through steps. Number one, we have a circular magnet to provide radial field. Radial field is just like if you have south here and the all round you have north. The whole of this is north, so that is the field. That is the field, radio. And direction is like that. Like that. So this we call radio. Just like you have the spoke of a motorbike or a bicycle. The spoke, they give you the idea of magnetic lines of force. Hence, magnetic field. Because all of them point or emanated from some common point. So this is what we call radio from radius. Radius. A circle has infinity radii. Radiuses in quotes. Radii. Okay? So what we have is this. And I can say you can represent it in another format. Like that, and this one we say south and shape. So the whole of this is north. Like that, and that is north. Okay? The whole of this is north. The whole of this is north. That. So that when it is facing you. Okay? When we cut across it, it forms a cross section like letter E. So you have to understand that component. From this, the middle part is housing a former, a component called a former. The middle part of this magnet, the middle part is housing a form so there is something you put round the middle part 
Maybe if I can demonstrate, it will be good. So you have like this. Is this part? You see. So there is something that comes. I've made an example of speech coil. Is this? Can you see? It's just a coil. You put it round, round, round there. And then this is the form. So it can go that way. Okay? So this form carries a conductor. And that conductor is in a magnetic field. So it will experience a force. Which kind of force? It will be moving forth, backward, forth, backward, forth, backward. So remember, this form, this will be moving forth and backward, forth and backward. So this form, this is the form, this, this is the form. Okay, that is the form. And then we have a coil going round. Since this conductor is in a magnetic field, okay, you can see this part will be here, there. I'll put it here. So, since it is in a magnetic field, okay, so I have here north, sorry, south, from my example, north, no. Now, you have put, you have put this, and this is the form, there, which has speech coil. The form has speech coil. So, if I connect the two points at the end, if I connect the two points at the end, this form, since it carries the coil, and coil is a current carrying conductor in magnetic field, it will experience a force which will be forth backward. If it is like that, it will be like this. Okay? That is just an example. So, you have understood the role of the magnet and the former. The former carries speech coil. The former carries speech coil. Okay? Now, when the signals from somebody talking on the other end are picked by vibrations in air, which make the diaphragm of the microphone to vibrate, then these two terminals pick those signals and make our former to vibrate also, to move back and forward. Now, if I may continue, this former, there is a connection of the dial. There is a connection of the dial. So this and that is the black carbon paper you see. Not really carbon as such, but there is a, 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 a paper you see, a black paper, which is able to vibrate. If you have a speaker, you can see that. This is what we call the diaphragm. And somewhere, diaphragm and the frame, the frame you can see the metallic part. If you have a speaker, you see the metallic part. So this frame, the diaphragm is connected by something like that. So that it is able to stretch, contract, stretch, contract as per the vibration of the diaphragm.
kept and this former is kept in place by a component here of course called spider but we don't show it spider this is spider so it moves controls it come back it is able to go come back because of the spider this it controls the former when it is going for and back okay this here is suspension the suspension it can stretch when it is booming those small ripple like structure if you see them it will be very good they are like that so they allow for the expansion and contraction the going forth and back forth and back is controlled by suspension so if i may label this is suspension and then this is the spider this is the diaphragm diaphragm and then there is a component a small something like a curve in the middle something like this this is basically uh, to prevent dust it is to prevent dust okay to prevent dust so Having gone through that, you can get this. This, there will be two terminals somewhere on the frame. Two terminals, which connect to this. If I may have. So this is the switch coil. Somewhere on your speaker, you will see two terminals. Okay. So you have the whole component in this format. How would you remember how does it work? Let us have these notes. A very electric current, speech current, passes through speech coil. When somebody speaks on microphone, even a microphone has a diaphragm which picks your signals and sets the vibration of its diaphragm. Those vibrations are the signals of vibration from microphone are picked as electric current. They are picked as electric current. So they come, the wires, up to that point. Okay? So the speech coil will vibrate according to the frequency of your speech. If you are slow, the, the vibration is slow. If you are fast, it will be fast. So we say it carries the very current. It is not current that is constant. So a very electric current. It is varying because of the way you speak. The vibrations are the same in terms of frequency as your speech. Radio magnetic field cuts the turns. Okay? Radio magnetic field cut the turns. So I don't have a wire but it cuts the turns. Let us have this. If we add uh, some water. Okay. I'm just trying to wet this so that this there. Okay. You have that. You have that. You can see now. You have that. Now, there is magnetic field magnetic field cuts because it is from 
Ton nom, tu sais. Nom, tu sais. Nom, tu sais. The film, ton nom, tu sais. It is cutting this speech coil. But essentially, this is a conductor. It is a conductor with the current. And since it is in a magnetic field, it will experience a force. Okay? So we say, radio magnetic field cuts the turns, thereby causing forth and back movement of the former. The former, this part here, will be subjected to some kind of movement, some kind of force. Okay. Three, the diaphragm vibrates. The diaphragm is connected to the form. So the vibration of the form are transferred automatically to the diaphragm. The diaphragm therefore presses against air in the same frequency as the speech as the varying electric current. The air is set to vibrate and the eardrum picks those vibrations, send them to the brain for interpretation. That is what you have. The diaphragm vibrates with the same frequency, setting the air into vibration. Then the ear picks the signal and does interpretation. So this is a simple, a simple way where you can explain to somebody how a moving coil, loudspeaker, works. Remember the name, moving coil. So there is a coil that moves. The coil is wood on the former. Boys and girls, listen to it two, three times and you'll be home. Till we meet. Bye bye. Form two, read ahead. Everyone, Prepare well because we are going to rush on topics. See you 